Lecturers and instructors of technical, vocational, and educational training institutions are currently involved in a two-day oil and gas workshop facilitated by the Center for Local Business Development, CLBD. Find out more in this report. According to Senior Business Specialist of Development Alternatives Incorporated, Natasha Gaskin-Peters, the workshop is to develop local capacity for the promising sector. Back in November of last year, we would have visited GTI, we visited Linden, we visited New Amsterdam, and we did an assessment of seven centers and institutes in total. And so this is really the first part of that capacity building initiative for the centers and institutes. She noted that with the announcement of 750,000 barrels of oil per day by 2025 by Exxon, five floating and production storage and offload vessels will need workers. Technical institutes will play an integral part within that process, of course, because you will be supplying some of the technicians, the fitters and the welders and so forth that will be working on those FPSOs. We will talk a lot about value chains within the oil and gas industry, the opportunities for your graduates. So we'll talk about local content, the opportunities for Guyanese as a whole, the opportunities for your future graduates, for your grandchildren and future generations to come. Because oil, of course, for the Lisa phase one, we're talking about 20 to 30 years of production. The workshop's objectives are to enable the participants to understand the process and importance of offshore oil and gas production in Guyana. It will also implement strategies to upgrade health, safety, security, and environment competencies at their institutions. For InfoHub, Anarakan.